Welcome back to HBRV Lifestyle. Your honey badger, John Levingston, here to give it to you straight about the RV business as always. If this is the first time that you have visited this channel, I talk about the RV business from the dealership side. I talk, I've done everything from cleaning them to fixing them, selling them, worn about every hat you can at a dealership. Today's video, it's a good one. We're gonna talk about that smog law, that new smog law that was released for any truck or bus that weighed over 14,000 pounds GVWR. Now, if you were a fan of the first video I did on this, I just reported what the amendment was directly from the CARB's website. What I did is just like the generator uh, ban videos that I did, what I had done was contacted them and asked questions like, hey, wait a minute. We use our motorhomes less than 3,000 miles a year. In fact, most people don't use more than 15, 1,600 miles a year on their motorhome, especially in California. So why would you punish us for that? Why would you make a generalized statement? So that is what I asked them, and I got a response today, January 24th. Are you ready? I'm going to read it to you verbatim, and then I'll try to translate it from complicated to English. Good evening, John Levingston. Motorhomes used for non-commercial private use, including vehicles converted to a motorhome, are excluded from the truck and bus regulation. This will be amendment title 13 of the California Code of Regulations, section 20259C10. Motorhome means a single vehicle unit designed for human habitation for recreational or emergency occupancy and built on or permanently attached to a self-propelled motor vehicle, chassis, chassis cab, or van, which becomes an integral part of the complete vehicle or a vehicle that exclusively tows a trailer that was originally designed for human habitation for recreational or emergency occupancy. Bottom line, there's a way around this. Now, there is a link I'm gonna put in the description box below. Make sure you use this link if you own a motorhome in California. You're gonna to wanna to click on this. Let me explain why. When Ford or Chevy or Freightliner or Dodge sends the VIN number to the federal government to report what kind of vehicle it is, they don't report that it's a motorhome. They report that it's a chassis. If you go look at your little thing that shows your GVWR, your little sticker, weight sticker, and it shows your VIN, if you run your VIN number through Carfax, it's not going to show up a Forest River. It's not going to show up a Thor or Tiffin or Jayco or Newmar. It's going to show up as Ford or Freightliner or Bus. So that's how California gets the registration. And that's how the vehicle history goes. So at the bottom, when you click on this link, these are the things you're gonna need. You're gonna need the VIN number of your motorhome, the license plate of your motorhome, and the registered owner's information and pictures of the vehicle. Now, if you don't trust the link, then I will just tell you to Google C-A-R-B and follow the steps through the website. I'll send you the direct link if you, you know, if you feel comfortable to use it. Um, this is a fantastic win. I, I, I know I take a deep breath about it, but man, uh, that's exciting that, I, I live in a state that doesn't have a lot of common sense, okay? And you Californians, you'd understand. It's like every time we turn around, a no common sense thing happens. At least someone, when it came to this law, or I should say this amendment to a law, 
somebody had some common sense, like, oh, well, nobody puts a lot of miles on motorhomes. So this will make it exempt. So this link, it is to apply for the exclusion. Please go to CARB entry and apply for motorhome non-commercial private use, including vehicles converted to a motorhome. That's what the quotation mark says. There's going to be a link right there to apply for, and that's how you move forward. Now, if you're interested in the original video I did on this, okay, that's going to be right, I believe, right here. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section for me, or as usual, in the description box. Those are my links to my social media if you want to DM me or email me. Thank you so much. Have a great evening and happy camping.